In this video, the region between the curve y equals x squared plus 4, the y-axis, and the lines y equals 4 and y equals 5, is rotated through 360 degrees about the y-axis. Find the volume of revolution which is formed. So this time, we are going about the y-axis. Okay. Now, if you take cuts along the y-axis, okay, horizontal cuts, then each of your uh, radii, the length of that, will be governed by the x value. So that means that the volume we're looking for is going to be the integral of pi x squared dy. And we know it's got to be dy in the end because we're integrated between y is 4 and y is 5. So this will get us the required volume. So all we need to do is make sure we've got x squared and we're going to substitute in y take away 4. So rearranging y equals x squared plus 4. Now we can bring that pi out in a moment. I'll just uh, rearrange this first. So x squared becomes y take away 4 dy. OK. Then I'm going to pull the pi outside and evaluate the integral. So y integrates to 1 half y squared minus 4 integrates to minus 4y, evaluated between 4 and 5. So I want to substitute in the 5 first. We're going to have 1 half of 5 squared, so 25 halves. Take away 4 lots of 5, which is 20. And take away, substituting in the 4, we get a half of 4 squared. 4 squared is 16, half, that's 8. And then take away 4 lots of 4, so take away 16. So, we've got 25 halves, take away 20, which is minus 15 halves, and then take away 8, take away 16, so plus 8. So minus 15 halves plus 8 gets us 1 half, so it's 1 half pi, or pi over 2. Okay, And so that is the exact volume formed when that area is rotated about the y-axis.